Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ned, welcome back to another Discord.js tutorial series. Um, today we're going to be doing episode 10, it's going to be over events. Um, I picked out a couple events that we're going to be doing. If you have any requests on other events that need coverage, just let me know down in the comments below or join our Discord server and let me know there. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. Today we're going to be doing guild member add, guild member remove, then we're going to be doing, where is it at, channel created, yeah, channel create and channel delete, there it is. So let's go ahead and start. You don't need anything extra. I've gone ahead and made welcome leave and that's just going to be a channel for our guild member add and guild member remove. And then I made general, I recreated it just to clear out everything. I'm going to go ahead and delete this since I don't need it. And this one too. All right. And we're good. All right. So let's go ahead and jump right into this code. It's going to be in your main file since it's another event. So I know I didn't really cover events before. But basically ready is an event and message is an event. Those are the two main events that people use. But today we're going to be adding a few more. So go ahead and start it off like you did before. Bot.on parentheses quotes and then we're going to do I'm just going to copy and paste it from here so let's do guild member add first so I'm going to go ahead and click on it and where is it at there it is all right so guild member add I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it does take so it's emitted whenever a user joins a guild so it's going to take a parameter member and we're going to be using that all right so paste that there and then comma async and then we're going to put member here and then an arrow function and curly brackets. All right. So let's go ahead and console.log. So we're going to console log the member ID. So let's go ahead and do um, dollar sign curly brackets and then member.id joined the server. All right. And now we want to grab that general or this welcome leave channel rather. So we're going to go ahead and do that by let welcome channel equal member dot guild dot channels dot find and then backtick name and then comma and then we'll do welcome underscore leave because that's the name of the channel. We're not going to check if it exists because we know it exists. This is just a way to set it up. And you can run on your own if you want to check you can do that but we're just going to go ahead and do welcome channel dot send and then we're going to do look out everyone and then we can do a object and do member has joined the party and you can set up custom um welcome messages like different ones you can set up an array or whatever you want to set up and just or a collection and um, have it pick a random one but we're just going to do a hard coded one for now so let's go ahead and double check that I'm just going to go ahead and run the bot all right everything loads so I'm going to go ahead and message Andrew he's going to be your test dummy today and I'm going to send him an invite so just give me one second all right so I sent him the link we're just going to wait for him to join and there it is look at everyone Andrew 159 and it did tag him has joined the party that's harsh okay but let's go ahead and move on and let's get to kicking up so when we want to have a member or a uh, message display whenever our member leaves we want to go ahead and use a guild member remove so as you can see here the description here uh, admitted whenever a member leaves a guild or is kicked it's going to take the same parameter uh, member so let's go ahead and set that up all right, so it's basically the same code, bot.on, and then guild member remove, async member, and then we're going to use an arrow function again. Oops. All right, so I'm going to basically copy and paste this guy here because it is that easy. Left. And then we want to go ahead. Good. We'll just do good. Riddance has 
bailed on the server. And like I said before, you can set up um, autumn or random ones. Um, that would just be a little bit more code, and I don't really want to get into that today. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the bot. Control C and up arrow. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. We're going to go ahead and kick them. Good riddance. Hand your boy 159 has bailed on the server. And as you can see, the the user ID has showed up both times. Um, but yeah, so that's that for the welcome channel. So let's go ahead and get like some kind of a log going. Or log, rather. So, channel create. Admitted whenever a channel is created. Nifty. Um, it's not something you're going to necessarily always need, but it's cool to have. And it's just a little bit more practice with a different type of um, event. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it just like we did before. Bot that on. And then channel create, async. And it's going to take the parameter channel. Let's go ahead and get to coding. All right, so console.log. And we'll say channel.name has been created. And then we can go ahead and do let s channel. We're just is s channel for send channel. Doesn't really matter. Equal channel dot guilds. This is weird. Channel dot guilds dot channels dot find name. And then we'll do we'll just do general. You can do whatever you want. If I can type. Oh my goodness. Oh Gen or oh, slow down. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and do s channel dot send and backticks of course channel dot name. Actually, I don't think it needs to be name. Has been created. So in the console, it's gonna say chan the channel name, but in the chat, it's gonna actually tag the channel. Um, it's just going to do the hashtag, like, it'll be hashtag general, and it'll be clickable, and you can go there, but it's sending it in general. So, let's go ahead and run that guy, and let's go create a channel. So, I'm going to go ahead and right-click, all right, and actually, we don't have to do that. Create channels right there. Let's go ahead and call it test channel. All right, so I made a little mistake here, guys. Sorry about that. It's not going to be guilds. It's just going to be guild. So go ahead and change that, and then you should be ready to go. Sorry about that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the test channel we just made, and then re-add it. So test channel. All right, so there it is. Test channel has been created, and you can click on it, and it'll go right to it. So let's go ahead and get the channel delete. And it's going to be right there. It's going to take the same parameter. Um, and yeah, pretty simple. So bot.on channel. Well, I guess I can go ahead and paste it since I had it copied already. And then it's going to be async channel and arrow function, curly bracket, all that good stuff. And it's going to be pretty much the same as last time. Copy and paste that there deleted deleted and we're gonna need to put channel dot name here since it can't tag it anymore since it is deleted as if I haven't said deleted enough all right I'm done I promise and as you can see there it did say test on this your channel has been created so let's go ahead and start the server again or the bot and then let's go ahead and delete this guy so delete and there you go. Test on this core channel has been deleted. So that's going to be all I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave that like and comment. If you have any questions, the Discord server link is going to be down in the description below. Feel free to join that and ask questions in the appropriate channels. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.